Chapter 6, Damaged Goods. While crossing the ruins of a battlefield, I'm still <laughs> never going to get to read it all. Ah, lovely sleep. Don't have to put up with, with Hugo. Ah, I was having a good dream where I wasn't having to do an escort mission. Your everyday corpse robber usually gets a sword in the belly. No Doesn't sound asked. pleasant. But me, I've got an eye for that fancy jewelry. And you're lucky I like gold better than blood, Lady Darune. Where is my brother? Oh, shut up. The better oh. you look, the higher the ransom. Well, get me some makeup, I guess, already. and a bath. The ransom? Who's paying it? Oh, you'll see soon enough. You're not in your shadow anymore, so cork it, all right? <laughs> Do they have to put the um, the circumflex on the A since he definitely mispronounced it? Fucking English. Right, so we're uh, captured, but okay, we're not captured <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Guess we're just gonna escape. That's fine. That was easy. What? Go this way? Okay. okay. Got it. Alright, so we didn't have to, uh, you know, put any marks on the wall. Not that we had a wall or anything. We didn't have to eat whatever was in the bowl. That was looking forward to it exactly. Now we're gonna make a dash for it. Find a much better home here in the bush. The other one's Arthur. Okay. It's all your fault. Where is my brother? It's a good way to start. Keep your voice down. Stop talking. These dogs took my sling. You don't need it. Okay, so we don't have any shit, so we can't fight back at the moment. So gotta keep a low profile here. The guards. Arthur will make him move. What? How? A distraction. He's waiting for us to tell him where and what. So keep your eyes open. Okay. My eyes are very open right now. So we got a couple of things we can pick. Um, there is only one correct answer, and it's the cart. Ah, the cart. That'll do the trick. Get ready. Uh, for what? What am I getting ready for? Follow me. So he's your brother. Nice. Come on. I don't know what he threw at it, but good stuff. Something stinks anyway. So... Melly and Arthur were the two thieves at the end of the last chapter. Seems they've come back to help us out. You don't understand. If he's afraid, you have to be patient. I don't have to. Don't tell me what to do. I'm a very impatient person. Unlike people who are waiting for these video parts, they're very patient. Where the hell are these bloody rats coming from? We have to the ground. Hugo. No. Rats are decimated. Mm, so it's not the brazier, it is the spears. with the spears. Well done. This is Get ready to go. There's no room for a war in this. Yep. King Edward must nice. I don't know why he doesn't just throw it at the guys, but that's fine. So we actually kind of need to move a little fast here. Watch out for the bottles. You can end up waking up the guards if you do bump into the into the bottles like I just did, but it's fine. <laughs> but I do need to grab this and this Jax. as quick as I can and we've been spotted so that's fine <laughs> lovely let's try this again alright at this time this time don't bump into the bottles I didn't think I did but I, I guess I must have watch out for the bottles or did I just move too fast I must have hit the one on the left there. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Still gotta grab this shit, though. What was that? Nothing. Let's see what we can see. You didn't see shit. It's fine. Okay, so we got the stuff. Just have a read of it real quick. Okay, knuckle bones. These small sheep's bones are a favorite in games for both children and adults. Whether among nobles or commoners, adults enjoy them a game of chance and gambling once they have been polished and engraved, thus acting as dice. Easily transportable, they can be found in ecclesiastical circles where they are associated with the devil. Okay, fair enough. They can be found in ecclesiastical circles? Or can't? Anyway. What a pain having to wait between bowels. 
Those two over there with their bows not ring the <gasps> They're training on a on a dead body. Bonkers. Yes. That's war for you. I suppose. Oh. That seems a bit much. Is it true? Stay you two French right. yesterday. Yeah, but it was easy. It was <laughs> it's easy. I have auto aim. It's fine. I have an aim bot. Let's go. And their armor shining in the sun. Just have to find the weak point and BAM! Easy target. So they're talking about Valois. You may or may not know like medieval history, but the Valois are basically the French um Be careful. Royal line at this time in, in history. I'm telling you. Guyenne belongs to England again, for sure. Oh yeah. Take a look out there and you'll see that Guyenne belongs to the fucking rats. Nice. All you need is a torch to get rid of him. Bye bye, rats. Look, the bot. Yeah, well spotted. Yep. Now, left. Nice. Be careful. You know our orders. Don't drop on me. Don't drop on me. Don't drop on me. Don't drop on me. Okay, good. Around the corner. More shit to pick up. Give me this. Some of this. Some of this. Wait, talk to about me. His fighting skills from the time of the war are legendary. Well, they didn't serve him very well. It is rather odd to be so interested in the children. Why don't you go ask the sister some questions? She must be awake. No, I'm not. Still asleep. Sleeping forever. Yep, definitely don't need to ask me any questions. Shit. <laughs> well, they're gonna find out I'm not there soon enough. Best move ahead as fast as possible. Let's see. Any shit to pick this. up? Some bread. Delicious. This. Steal this guy's pants. What are you doing? You won't be able to come this after us the then. Time. I'm making your rescue profitable. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's that's fair enough, I suppose. Powder, probably for alchemy. We've had some apples. Useless. I can use it. Huge bottle of wine. Is this? I don't know. It seems a bit weird. Okay. Would you please. Uh, Meli, Meli can uh, unlock things basically if she's in the party with you the party like it's a like it's an rpg but kind of you do start collecting like bunches of of people after a while so we can't uh we can't craft anything at the moment so that salty piece will just have to stay there silence silence hey, not that way there are loads of them yeah don't go that way melly there's a collectible over this way you should go this way instead <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna collect some shit. Coins. Aren't you going to take them? English currency. Never touch it. Okay. Pound sterling. Pound sterling is the oldest currency still in circulation and was already widespread at the end of the 11th century when it alone accounted for 15 tons of metal. Fucking hell. Passing from hand to hand, crossing the borders and strata of society, money was also a powerful vector of contamination. Uh, makes sense. Just like mail, people only thought to decontaminate it decades later. Hmm. Where have we heard that before? People fucking washing their groceries and their mail when they get it home. I'm telling you, this game is, is more prescient than what I think we give it credit for. Okay, now we gotta get through here. And again, try not to knock over any bottles while also stealing as much shit as you can get your hands on. I know there's like leather here somewhere. We're running out of bread and here it is. wine. Like, just be careful backing that ass up that you don't back it up into a something uh, yeah, knock overable. Time we win a battle, half of the reserves just disappear. Yeah, into a rat's bellies, I think. That's where they disappear to. Okay, where's Melly gone? There she is. Grant. You're crazy. What? <laughs> we got through, didn't we? Yeah. Just... Technically, I guess. Good thing everyone was just fucking hammered from the night before, I guess. Lads making them some uh, timber for uh, siege weapons, I think. <gasps> My brother. Looks like it. Bad. Quickly. Well, some more salty peat we can't pick up. I'm here. Well, good luck with that, lads. 
Just be thankful you're still alive. Not everyone makes it around here. Hey, the girl, the girl. Huh? What do you mean, the girl? Come on, spit it out. The girl She's asleep. definitely still asleep. No, <laughs> no, I'm still asleep. Shit. We should have made like a scale model of Amasia. Case doesn't just open like that. It might. Might be the Valor's doing. Now's the time. So when they're referring to Valois there, it's like the the uh, army and mercenaries and conscripts Hugo, that are here. fighting please, for the yeah. royal family. Are you right? are you the right? French royal family. Get me out, please. We have to get that cage down. I'll work it's on it. Right, Hugo. Listen, my sling. Did they have it when they locked you up? Do we need yes, to get the cage down? The trunk, really? Yeah. Right. Cool. Could we not just... Could really just pull the thing down. It's not that big. Shit's locked. Over to you, Melly. I haven't checked it yet, but it's locked. <laughs> I haven't checked it to see if it's locked. There wasn't even a padlock on it. Anyway. Alright, Amasia gets all their shit back. Finally. Now, Hugo. I okay. need to get the cage down. Let's get Hugo back down. Oh. Resume the uh, escort mission. Fortunately, they are busy. Uh, sorry, I thought, I thought Hugo disappeared out of thin air there for a second. Melly, the lock. I haven't checked yet, but I assume it's not. It's unlocked or locked, whichever, whichever you prefer. Easy. They said someone's going to take me. It's all right, Hugo. We're going to get out of here. I wouldn't worry about it, Hugo. Nobody else wants to do the escort mission. Amicia. Oh, they said they were going to take me away. Stop grabbing my ass. I wouldn't see you again. Well, now you know that's not true. I'm here. We're staying together, right? Of course. Not if I can avoid it. Going to go with <laughs> At least for a couple of chapters, we'll still be stuck together. And she's uh. what she told us in earlier. Aren't you, Melly? Yeah. I'm, I'm a bad girl. Happy now? Nice. Shall I go? <laughs> my hand, Hugo. Let's get going. Yes. There's a way out to the far end of the camp. Melly's a bad girl. Really that's very good. That sling, you'd better go first. Okay, uh -huh. we got some shit to collect before we actually decide to leave the camp. They're not, uh, it's not collectibles. There's still one collectible left, but this is mostly just materials and shit. We are mostly safe. We just hang out up in this area. It's only when we go down past the cage where you have to start worrying about stealth and enemy seeing you. Although, to be fair, we're, <laughs> we're not going to be doing a whole lot of stealth. Now that we have our sling back, we are pretty much just going to start smashing heads, pretty much. And we start rocketing some rocks towards uh, these English lads. Okay, what can we make? Uh, we can't make a whole lot. We don't have enough leather for that. Alright, so we're going to make this. This should make things a little easier. So we are starting to run up against the the materials problem, which is you just very rarely have enough of it. So I will probably start playing missions, replaying missions rather, just to shore up my materials and stuff. Which I think you can do, because <laughs> I never did it in my first playthrough, but I think you can. Okay, so we're pretty much just going to start killing guys. Because I have never figured out a way to get through here without killing people. So that's just what we're going to do. Are you sure about that? Completely. I've so had enough of running. That's one down. Come on. And that's two down. Are you sure she didn't leave the camp? And sometimes enemies drop stuff. Occasionally. Not always, but sometimes. Or you can just get your rock back. <laughs> I guess it's also possible. <laughs> Just didn't shatter on his skull. Still in one piece. He didn't drop anything. Hey, got an archer here. Do you want some more? I still have some. Archers are a bit more of a problem because they don't have to. They don't have to chase you down if they see you. They can just fire an arrow at you. Whereas um, this guy, for instance. Leave us in peace. Whoa. That was you trying to win the war on your I own? did that one off the hip. I didn't even wait for it to line up. Okay. Um, we haven't quite gotten rid of everybody, but we don't need to, because we're only going to hug the left-hand side. Now, as I was saying, archers 
don't have to chase after you to kill you. And enemies are basically just going to try to kill Emesia now. They're not going to try to capture her. Whereas other enemies have to chase you down. So you have a bit more time to deal with them. Archers, you need to deal with them immediately when they see you. Otherwise, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. Maybe I am, yeah. Why don't, uh, why don't everybody go up there and check? Definitely, probably still close to the cages. Okay, here's the last collectible. This is the English declaration of war. Edward III claims the French throne. Now, I will read that in a second. I declare it. I take it. Yes, but you're a thief. He's a king. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he has to. I'm not sure he has to declare it exactly. I don't think the Geneva Convention has been uh, set up yet. Okay, we can read that. I can't see anything. Uh, da, 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 declaration of war. The Casus Belli serves Belli, Belli. I don't know. Serves as the official justification for a conflict between sovereigns, although its legitimacy is often questionable. Some serve primarily economic interests. The Hundred Years' War thus enabled. That's a weird way to say it. The Hundred Years' War thus enabled the French King Philippe VI to tax his people in order to fill the kingdom's coffers, King Edward III to satisfy the English nobility, whose land revenues had fallen severely. Yes, yes, yes. Rich people gonna be rich people. Some more leather. Could have done with you earlier. Cord. Some... Sulfur, I think. Make some of this so we can get rid of it. Some rocks. Okay, what way to go here? You only have to go down here to the left. Well, that's an archer, that's a problem. And this is fire, which I did not want. No. Ah! Shit! Uh, nailed, okay. That could have ended very badly. I did not want to hit him with fire because one, it, it's a it's a waste of materials, and two, it wouldn't have killed him. But that is everybody dead, I think. Or not everybody. There's still plenty of guys back up at the top um, of the camp, but I don't think we need to worry about them. So I'm just going to go around and collect the rest of the stuff, if there is anything. More rocks. Uh... Salty peat. That's basically everything. I don't know of anything else, so we're just gonna keep going. Freedom! <laughs> you guys suck. Or not. Oh, oh no, it's this guy. It's medieval Darth Vader. You sure do. You gotta pay for the deluxe package. Uh, Plantagenets, much like the Valois, are just the English equivalent right now. The English royal line. Maggot! You got it. Nailed. And... Nailed. Run away! Like it, Hugo's. Go. Uh, no way. Not happening. <laughs> Hopefully he can't. He can't climb ladders. He's uh. He's got too much armor, and the ladder would just break if he tried to climb it. Uh, come on, Melly. Done. Nice. Okay. Now. The game points out the archer first, but in my opinion, you should take out that guy first. Because he becomes very difficult to catch when he starts running around. He climbs up the this little gangway, he's a little difficult to reach. Okay, that actually has a padlock on it, so that's fine. 
No, don't break down the door. Ah, shit. Sure there is. I take you assholes out. <laughs> I don't know if you actually have to um, take out enemies there or if you just wait. This isn't good. This guy stinks. We're all good. Oh, well, good thing he's dead, I suppose. I sure hope it's Arthur. <laughs> Run away. Let's leave your brother to burn alive. 